G'day everyone, welcome back and welcome to Rob's R&D Centre. Now you might be thinking to yourself that I want something a little bit different than what I can buy off the shelf. And you might be thinking to yourself out of the blue one day, there's parts on newer cars that fit older cars. And you might have a Kingswood Ute and you might be thinking, hmm, maybe it's nice to have traction control. So then you start thinking about going to need ABS sensors on all four wheels. How can I do this? How can I do it easily? What's already got an ABS sensor that's in the same family and a traction control unit that's in the same family? Hmm, Commodores have got all that. So you might suddenly think, maybe I want to put Commodore hubs on the front of my Kingswood Ute. So then we're going to make a part to do it. So here's where it starts. This is just simply a drum brake stub off a um, HT. And it was all rusted up. I've had to cut it off with the torch because the shoes were all rusted up, the drum had rusted away in places. But all I really wanted was an accurate measurement from this face here to these two pivots. So from this piece I will be building a jig to hold it all in that alignment. I'll drill a plate so I can actually drop this in. I don't need all the studs so I can just put two in or three in and I can bolt it down and then I can make a couple of brackets with the tapers on here for the ball joints that I can just bring up to make sure I've got this alignment right. Now, I also want to lower the car, so when I make my new piece, I can actually shift the hub up by inch and a half, and I'll lower the car by inch and a half. So then you think, how can I do this cheaply, and how can I build a prototype piece that I can get someone to cast me a new part from? So then you go down the scrap heap, and we start looking through all the old cars for pieces. So here's a HQ stub that was a little bit sad and had been sitting out in the weather for years. The first thing I did was just got rid of the whole stub because I don't need that anymore on there. And I've drilled a reference hole, which is this fella in here. So that is an inch and a half exactly from where the center of the stub was. So by shifting the center of my hub up an inch and a half, it lowers the car an inch and a half. Now this is still very experimental. We could crash and burn at this point, so I don't want to put too much effort and too much money into this. So I've got this piece I've made, I've cut it down with the angle grind, well I've cut it down with the torch first and then I've ground it. It still needs more grinding to get it where I want it. But then you move on to your Commodore hub. So this is the piece where the strut would normally be attached onto it. The pivot for the ball joint was on here. I've cut all that away. There's our plug for the ABS sensor. And then we've got the Commodore hub that goes on there. Now any measurements we make have got to allow for the brake disc, which is 10 millimetres from this face. So we've got to keep allowing for that. But when we set it together so far, I'm within about four millimetres of where I need to be with it. Now we can sit it all in there. That's him, tuck him in there like that. I've still got to tip it this way a little bit and I've got to drop it in there a little bit. But we've got to get this made and put it on the car, put the brakes on it and make sure we can still do the full turn on the steering and make sure nothing fails. But from that point, if it's successful, we can use any Commodore brake on there and hopefully any aftermarket brake for a Commodore on there. So from the point of research and development and testing it, I've got a kilometre of my own road. So I can weld this together, and this is all cast steel, so it does actually weld very nicely. It's not suitable for a road car to put on the road with a welded component like that, but it's good enough for me to test here and make sure it's going to do everything I want. And from that point, I can get someone to cast me a replica that can cast steel. Now, I was very lucky for 10 years of my working life, I lived right next door to a foundry. And if I wanted something made, I would just make a pattern for them, they'd go and cast it, I'd get it machined into the shape I wanted, and we made all sorts of things, from pulleys to carburetor to adapters, all sorts of things. So I have been spoiled in the past, that foundry no longer exists, but I've found others out there that are willing to take on one-off jobs. So this is pretty exciting for me. I hope it all works, but I will keep you up to date with it as we go. Talk to you soon. Stay safe.